Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and install Magento on a Windows environment. For the demonstration I'm going to be using a virtual PC, uh, one of those VHDs that you can download and install on the Windows machine. Uh, the one that I'm going to be using is Windows XP Service Pack 3. The reason being is just it was the smallest one among all the uh, options out there. Uh, if, if you have Windows Vista or Windows 7 it's still going to work, it's the same process. Uh, so anyway, in order to complete this, we're going to need WAM server and we're going to need Magento, the latest stable edition. Both of them are free and open source, you can download them online, no problem. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so uh, what we need is the WAM server application and the Magento zip file. I have 1.4.2 stable community edition already downloaded and I have WAMP server 32 edition already downloaded. I'm um, just going to show you where you get it. If you open uh, any browser, go to Google and type WAMP server, you'll know that you'll, you'll get, it'll take you to that page. It's under download. For some reason right now, uh, either my internet or their website is extremely slow, so I'm not going to do it. Um, and then if you go back, just go to uh, Magento, download I guess, and just I'm using the latest edition 1.4.2 and stable and uh, I usually just take the zip file because it's a Windows environment. Alright, so first thing we want to do is install WAM server. And I'm just gonna follow up all the steps here. Next, next, next. I just I always use it at the regular one. Uh, install. It's gonna take a little bit. This is a virtual PC, that's why it's gonna take a little bit longer. Uh, just so you know, the WAMP server comes with uh, Apache, PHP, and MySQL. It also comes with uh, MS SQL and uh, PHP my admin uh, it might come with additional stuff but it's all very well packed and all available for you to manage from a right from a, a little icon right here which is very nice and uh, I think these guys did a, a great job with it All right, now it's asking me for by the Explorer application where it can open the uh, PHP my admin if you click on it so we're gonna take it back to program files and Internet Explorer yeah yes alright so next finish and it's launched and notice that right now it says server is offline so what you want to do is you want to put online, there's just a, a little bit at the end here, there's a little item here, just put online. Now if we go to um, localhost, you'll notice that you got, uh, you got the thing working and please note here it's 5.3.3, the PHP version. All right. Alright, so now we're going to unzip Magento. Uh, I'm just going to stick it on the desktop for now. We're going to move it. While it's extracting, let's look at where we're going to put it. So if we go to uh, C, WAMP, www, this is the folder that this local host is basically pulling by default. So we're going to put it right here. Let's see if it's done. All right, I'm going to pause it. Or actually, let's do the other thing. So Magento installations doesn't like localhost by default. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, take another domain that we're going to create out of thin air basically we're just gonna create whatever we want and we're gonna make it point to the local host the way we do it I go to Windows uh, system 32 and then we go to drivers etc and then there is the host file 
this host file overrides any uh, DNS records that come in from our ISP. So what we're going to do is just 127.0.0.1 and here we're going to type any address that we want to use. So I'm going to just use magento um, magento1.com We're going to save close and we're good. Now let's just make sure this works and it still goes to the same folder and it still loads Apache here for us so it works let's see how this is doing alright so this is not done yet so let's do one more preparation that we need to do before we're ready for the installation of Magento uh, let's open PHP my admin we need to create a database it's going to be essentially an empty database uh, for Magento. I'm going to create here. I already have Magento 1 from a previous demo, but I'm going to create Magento 2. I'm going to select the collation to uh, UTFA General CI. I mean, this is really up to you, whatever you want to set it up as. And then we have an empty Magento 2 database ready. Notice that by default, the username. Uh, is root and the password is empty. It's not a security risk because it's just on our local environment. Alright, so this is done. We don't need to look at the extracted file. We know it's right here. And what we're going to do is go inside here and just copy. I do control X to just move them. I'm going to put this these guys right here. I just overwrite all the files including index okay so let's just close some windows and these are our files and if we hit this web page again I guess it's cached so if we hit it again and refresh the page force the browser to refresh we're gonna get the installer for Magento so we're gonna agree to the terms and I hit continue and we go to the next step which is localization now notice that it it passes there is one stage before that that it actually is looking for some requirements and PHP and stuff so let me just show you a little trick uh, if you go to PHP you have here all the extensions and everything that is set or not set or well, actually here I see that PHP curl is not set let's see if it's gonna alarm us or just let us know that we need to set it so we're gonna use English LA US dollar continue and there it is so uh, we need to set up PHP curl extension so we're gonna go to PHP extensions click on it now notice that here the that little icon change into orange and then into white so now we know it's working alright now it's at the next level the new Magento database name that we gave it's Magento 2 we're gonna use root no password and right now we don't need table prefix if you want you can add something there like mage underscore or something uh, the base URL is just simply the URL that we decided uh, magento1.com uh, we're gonna trigger use web server Apache rewrites notice that for this we need to make sure that Apache has that module uh, available and working so again just like we did with the PHP extensions we're gonna scroll down and I just missed it it's rewrite module gonna turn it on again it's gonna turn yellow and back white we're gonna leave uh, unchecked uh, secure URL and we're gonna set it to file system it's just it's faster when you're on a smaller uh, environment like this this is just a VPS so let's hit continue now when we hit continue in this page it's gonna be a little bit slow because it actually installs all the tables and database uh, keys indexes everything all the dependencies in between the tables and some minimal data once it's done
I'm gonna pause it until it's done because okay we're back so now here it's to create an admin account so we're gonna use uh, just any name I'm gonna use my name here my email address notice that you need a password with both characters and uh, digits All right, let's hit continue and there we go we have it it's ready to go we have a front end right here and we got a back end right here let's look at the front end it's fully working back end No. And there you go, you have a fully working Magento environment. About 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it.